Hello and welcome to another episode of Teenager Who Cooks. Today we'll be making some cookies for Independence Day. Also joining us today is my cousin, Evanson. Hello. So today the ingredients that we'll be using are some red and blue food coloring for 4th of July decorations, 60 grams of powdered sugar, 100 grams of cake flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, 25 grams of egg white, and 50 grams of melted butter. So the next step is we're going to use a spatula to combine our powdered sugar and our butter. And all of the ingredients will be down in the description below as always. So we put our powdered sugar in and we can also add our melted butter. And when we're doing this with a spatula, we can just simply stir a little bit until combined and kind of smooth. So we've mixed it a little bit with the spatula until kind of combined. Now we can move it to either a bowl with a hand mixer or a stand-up mixer like this. And we will put it on a high speed and mix it until fully combined. So after your mixture has um, started becoming like a soupy kind of texture, you can add some egg whites in and continue to mix. So now we'll add the egg whites in. Good. So keep on mixing until it's fully incorporated. After everything is incorporated with each other in the mixture, we can add the cake flour through a sift. Make sure to sift the flour or else your mixture will have lumps in it. Also, don't forget to incorporate the baking powder. After that, we can just fold it all together. So we mixed it pretty well and now it has um, a doughy texture. And we can pour it out onto a cutting board or just some sort of board. And make sure to get all of it out. So now we can just sort of massage it around until we can actually get a shape or make a ball, I guess. So now that we have a blob of cookie dough like this, we can try to separate it into three equal parts and then we can add the food coloring and the red and blue and for the white, we can just leave it like it is. Add just one drop of food coloring into this little hole that I made into the dough. Yes, and then we can start mixing it around. That our three clumps of cookie dough is already. Um, we can put them into plastic wrap and then we'll put them into the fridge to rest for half an hour. So now that our um, cookie dough has come out of the fridge for 30 minutes. First, we need to preheat our oven to 300, and 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, we can take our cookie dough out of our plastic wrap. And we can try to maybe um, use smaller portions for like the first one. So now we've got rolled out these balls about 
three grams each, and we want to roll them out into a noodle-like shape. Not too long. About this long. And we want to do this for every single color. Perfect little cookie. Now all of our cookies are done. Our colors are a little bit messed up because our food coloring was weird. But now we can put it in the oven and cook it for about 20 minutes. So we will come over here. Put the oven. Be careful when handling in the middle. Oven. In the middle, yeah. And we only need to cook it for about 20 minutes. 20. So our cookies are now ready. And after the 20 minutes that they were in the oven, we also um, left them in there with the heat off for another five minutes just to make sure they were fully cooked. And now we can get them out of the oven. Be very careful taking them out of the oven. And they look really good actually. So I'm gonna put them all I'm gonna put them all, all onto a plate. Here are cookies. Happy Independence Day. Mmm. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. And these were the Independence Day cookies.